let's jump into this faith walk. So, um, y'all know me, y'all know that I'm busy. I got a lot of stuff going on and I'm not just busy for the sake of being busy. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing music of a book. I just radio show, radio show, first lady and all of that. Um, but let me tell you about dreaming big, even when it's not big yet. I think a lot of people have talked to me, friends, you know, artists who just want to understand why I'm not there yet. Um, patience has been a very big part of my journey, waiting on God. Um, so when someone tells you that you can sing, that's a, usually a long way between them telling you, you're really good, you can do this. From you getting the deal, the deal getting worked out, getting the album done, getting the music out, getting on the road, getting the music to the people. It's just a long journey. Warren used this um, analogy a Sunday. He was saying, okay, when I buy an airline ticket, I know where I'm going. I know where I'm trying to go. I bought the ticket to the city that I want to go to, right? He said, still, I have to pack my bag to go to the city that I want to go to. Then I have to go to the airport. It may be traffic, so it may me take me longer just to get in the airport than I wanted to, than I wanted to take. Wanted it to take. Get your life together, Erica. Um, and then even once you get in the airport, then you have to check in, check your baggage. And while you're checking your bags, they ask you, is there anything in your bag that could hinder you getting to the place that you bought a ticket and came to the airport to get to? Right. And if they ask for if you have any lithium batteries, if you have any weapons, they ask you all these questions and then you check your bag. Even then you still have something to do. Now you have to walk to, through security and security line may be long and you still have to go through security and you still sometimes have to take your jacket off and your shoes off and take your things out of your bag. And they ask you if you have water or any liquids or, you know, all these things when you've already bought your ticket. Right. I'm trying to paint a picture for how long the process talks takes right so you get through security then you have to sit at the gate and wait and then the plane comes and you think you can just walk on but you can't they have to de-plane and then clean the plane before you get on so then you're still sitting and then your plane is clean your plane is ready and still they have to say the the veterans have to get on first and any children and families have to get on first and anybody else with seniority or priority has to get on first and then you can get on the plane. And then while you sit on the plane, you got to wait on everybody else to get on the plane too. And they have to get on the plane and get situated and get comfortable and put their bags away and put away their coats and make sure their dogs under the seat are okay and get their seatbelts on. And then the flight attendant have to tell you everything that they have to, everything you need to know to be safe. And they tell you where the exits are and they tell you what you can and cannot do. So there is a long process, almost in everything that you have to do in life. From decision to activation to actually experiencing what's done. So why do we rush so much? Why do we want things to be automatic and come? Ah, oh, just because the enemy makes us rush. He wants us to go ahead of God. He wants us to get a, get ahead of the process, feel bad for the process. I don't have to do all of that because I'm so talented and I'm so, I'm so, I'm so. But sometimes things take the time that they take. So don't rush life. Don't relate. Don't rush relationship. By all means, stop rushing guys asking, what is this? And y'all just been talking for a little while. It takes the time that it takes. You have to figure out. You have to allow life to be what it is. And there's certain things that you just can't rush. All right. You may know where you're going. You may know where you want to go. You may have made that decision already, but it's still going to take some time. So don't rush life, okay? Don't quit. Don't switch to something else because in that new journey, it's going to take a process too, and then that's going to take too long. So just make sure you wait on the Lord. Wait on life to happen. Allow the process to happen, okay? And don't lose it in the process. That's my faith walk for the day.